There's a concept called risk compensation that engineers understand, but don't factor into their designs. It's easiest to understand risk compensation by thinking about NFL players. If you look back at the 1950s and 60s, you'll see NFL players with minimal amounts of padding, th these helmets that seem very open, and you freak out, you're like, how do they not all get killed? The reality is, is that the game was much different back then. Now, NFL players have huge amounts of padding. They have these, you know, really massive helmets that are designed to protect them. Yet injuries are higher, concussive injuries are greater than ever before. Why is that? It's because with that added level of padding and protection, players have gotten bigger, stronger, they hit harder. They take that extra capacity we've given them to do damage and they actually play the game with greater intensity. This same thing occurs with driving. When we go out and we make lanes wider, when we make uh, curves more sweeping, when we actually put more performance capacity into a street, we don't see people take that as additional safety precaution. We don't see people say, well, you know, I will continue to drive the same low speed I was driving before. What they do is they take that added capacity in increased performance. They drive faster, they drive more aggressive, they drive more intensely. Engineers understand this. And by understanding this, we actually need to do the opposite. If we want to lower aggression, if we want to lower speeding, we actually have to take some of that performance capacity away in our streets. Engineers fully understand this, and we should demand that they do it. I'm Chuck Marone, and that was my confession.